Hi, I'm Dave with Gator Power Gates, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the, these on your particular type of gate. Uh, this is our Gator Power Gate. We've already taken the hood off of it. It's only four screws to pull the hood off. And, uh, and we just lined it up on the lowest point of the, of the slope of the driveway or pathway. We put the gate in its lowest spot so you can see how it it, it slopes down as far as five and a half inches. We're going to mount this gator power gate on these bars that have been welded in here for us. Uh, we had this frame made for us, but in your particular application, you may have a farm ranch uh, mesh gate of some sort, and you'll want to have some sort of backbone to mount the uh, mounting plate with. Uh, on lots of applications, we have placed the uh, uh, three inch flat bar steel and bolted those on the backs uh, of the wire mesh gates. So this is a, a handy way of, of uh, securing the power gate for those types of gates. But this, this style, of course we've already have the bars in place. We've lined up the gator power gate. We'll, we'll level this uh, so that it's straight up and down. And then all we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a 3 8 inch fit and we're going to drill hole, four holes, two on the top, two on the bottom, to uh, uh, bolt this gator power gate to, to the gate. Now once when we bolt it, we're going to use 3 8 inch bolts. In this application, I'm going to be using a two and a half inch bolt, two of them, and two three and a half inch bolts. And what well, the three and a half inch bolts are going to go on the outside of the uh, gauge, and the two and a half inch bolts will go on the inside of the uh, gator power gate. And this will allow us to mount the gate kind of a little bit on a on an angle. It's an angle mount. We'll be doing about an inch more on this side outwardly than the inside. The, the outside will be about uh, an inch more. This will allow the gator to easily traverse and turn without binding on the gate. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to drill four holes. Okay, what we've done is we're, we've mounted the two bolts on the inside already of the gator power gate. So the gator's on the gate now, and now we're going to use, we ended up having to use five and a half inch, three eighths bolt to give us enough uh, angle as we, uh, to, and go through the, the gate as well. So we're going to use uh, three bolts, uh, three nuts, and a five and a half inch. So we're going to prop this open a little bit here, and then as I put this through, I'm going to run a few bolts on the inside here. That will allow me to uh, get what I'm looking for <laughs> to make the adjustment and the angle. And we're just going to that and that should get us where we want to be okay you can see now we've got all four bolts mounted to the gate and it's an angle mount. So the inside is mounted directly to the gate uh, post and the outside is mounted about 
let's say an inch, uh, inch and an eight, right around in that ballpark uh, on an angle. And we've used uh, three eighths bolts uh, and three eighths nuts to uh, provide the uh, the mounting for the uh, Gator Power Gate. So now we're ready to test it out. Okay, now we're going to test the Gator. After mounting the uh, the Gator to our gate, we're going to test it out. Use your fob. Uh, hopefully, you've already synced it up. If not, you'll need to do so. Turn your uh, Gator Power Gate on, and we're going to test it out. Now, be ready to stop it with using your fob. The middle button will be the stop button. And that's important because we haven't placed the markers yet to tell it when to stop. We're, that's coming up next. Let's try it out and see what we how we got, how we did. Not bad, huh? Now we didn't close it all the way. We're going to adjust it uh, for the magnet so we get a tighter close. We're just testing it out, see how she operates. Let's open it back up. Okay. They were golden. That's uh, ready, ready to go on to the next phase. The next phase is going to be the solar panel.